Hey guys, it's Corey from Rigwell. Today we're back with another install video and we're talking EcoFlow and our bracket kit. So the bracket kit comes with three parts from Rigwell here. So this guy, this holds your distribution panel. Then you have your lower, I should flip it this way, your lower power hub bracket and this is the upper power hub bracket. Also, in the kit, you're gonna have a bunch of hardware packs. Uh, you'll have the battery pack, uh, distribution panel pack, the lower and the upper power hub hardware packs. Also, you're gonna need from EcoFlow, their brackets. So this all comes with the power hub. So you have this kind of larger bracket, call this like the middle bracket. And then you have a lower and an upper bracket as well. This is all for the power hub. Not pictured in this video is the battery brackets. Those will also come with EcoFlow. They're pretty easy and we'll do a separate video uh, when we have one of those here to show you how to install that. Here are the tools you're gonna need to do this installation. Now that we got our hardware, we'll need a flat blade screwdriver for this. Um, if you've never used a clip nut before, they're almost in every one of our products, so we have a ton of videos on how to put them in. Um, but basically, they have two little ears on either side. Um, you put one of the ears in the metal, and then you use your flat blade to push the other ear down in, and you'll hear a firm snap, um, and then that thing will be snapped in place. So you can put the screw in it, and it's a retained, basically a retained nut. Um, so we'll start with the upper one, and basically you'll see this little jut out. So the clip nuts will go behind that jut out, and you'll take the ear and put it in the bottom. It's just gonna be hard to show on camera, but trust me. And then take your flat blade, and let's see if we can get a good angle here and just push that in and you'll hear it snap in. So we'll go ahead and do the rest of these. Now I'll move to the lower power hub bracket. This has kind of the same little bump out here on the bracket. And again, the clip nuts are gonna go behind that. Uh, so the front, you won't see the majority of the clip nut. That'll be in the back. So let's snap these in. So this is the front, and this is how the back looks. Now that we got the smaller clip nuts in both the upper and the lower, we have two more clip nuts to put in. So find a hardware pack where there's two clip nuts, and we'll get those out. These guys are different. These are actually quarter 20, where the smaller ones are 10, 20, 10, 32s. So just make sure that you have the right ones. You'll know these are only two and you have eight of the small ones. So again, this is the front and we're gonna do the same way where we'll take the clip nut and put it in from behind and snap the ears in. Next up, we're gonna find the bigger EcoFlow bracket uh, I call this one the middle and our upper power hub bracket. So there'll be three holes on the upper power hub bracket here. And then this guy has matching three holes and kind of has a little lip at the edge and that goes upward. So this is gonna go right on there and that's a nice, uh, you'll see the power hub actually catches this lip and kind of hangs on it. Um, so find your hardware pack that has three bolts and three nuts. And we'll simply just put these bolts straight down through the holes here. And the nuts will go on the back side of this unit and we'll just tighten those down. Okay, so here's what the finished product should look like. You can see it has the little lip right here that's facing upwards. And we have our nuts on the back. Now we're gonna to turn to these little brackets from EcoFlow. These are the same top and bottom. Um, 
EcoFlow, they, they tend to change things from time to time. I've seen brackets that have three screws here and I've seen brackets that have four screws here. So um, obviously if yours has four, put four in and if it only has three, put three in. Those holes are gonna line up with the top here. It's a little hard to show, but basically there's already threaded holes right here in the top of the power hub. And the bracket just simply goes on they provide the screws for this, so this will be in your power hub kit. And they're just little Phillip head screws. So we're just gonna take this and bolt this bracket on. So there's the top one done. And we'll simply just flip it over and we'll do the bottom one next. See if we can get this on camera. Now you can see we have the Nomad bed here. Um, one very important note is put all this stuff in before you mount this into the van permanently. Um, it just makes it so much easier to get to the back of the hardware that's already in the Nomad bed. And that's an important thing to note is a lot of the Nomad bolts and nuts we're gonna reuse in the bracket kit install. So let's get into that now. Okay, so our first step is gonna be putting in the upper power hub bracket. This thing is held on with four bolts and nuts, and three of which, this guy, this guy, this guy, are all existing in the bed already. Um, you're gonna have one empty hole and in the hardware pack for the upper power hub bracket as a mouthful, there's one bolt and nut, and that is for this upper left corner right here. So let's get this guy put in. First, we're gonna uninstall these bolts, and then we'll put them all back in. It's pretty simple. Uh, let's get into it. Now that we got those bolts all loosened up, we'll go ahead and fit up power hub bracket and just loosely put in those bolts so it'll kind of hold itself there for now. Once you get the top two on and go thread those nuts on the back. So let's go ahead and use our Allen and our socket in the back and tighten those down. So you can see we got the upper power hook bracket in there now, and this does have some play up and down. So we can kind of just let those bolts loose for now, and we'll come back and tighten them once we know everything is aligned and fits good. So next, we have our lower power hub bracket, and that's just the same. So we have two existing, two existing bolts and nuts down here. So we'll just pull those off and put this right back on. Again, the little bent out flange part faces outward. You should not be able to see the majority of the clip nuts. Those are in the back, not the front. Okay, so there's the lower power hub bracket. Again, I just left this loose so we can uh, have a little bit of adjustment once we get the actual power hub in there. So next we'll move on to the distribution panel. That is this guy here. And you'll know the direction of this because there's this one ear with two holes. Those correspond to the two clip nut holes in the upper power hub bracket. So kind of just dry test fit this on here and you'll see we're gonna use existing bolts here, here. We're gonna have to add a bolt there and we'll add our two bolts uh, to the clip nuts of the power hub bracket. One note about the hardware in the distribution panel um, packet, you're gonna have our normal 5 8 button heads. Those are gonna be for the bottom and for the top, and you'll have one that's one inch long. That one is this middle guy, and that's because it's going through three pieces of metal, so you wanna use the longer one right in the middle. And once it's all tightened down, it'll suck everything together. We're on to the trickiest part of this install. 
This power hub weighs quite a bit, so it's hard to lift up. Um, and then we have to get it in this tight area. So just have a little patience here, but the name of the game, this uh, middle bracket right here, uh, you can see the power hub. Let me get this thing up close here. These guys right here, they're little hooks. Those need to sit down over. Those need to sit down over this edge. So if you're your upper and your lower brackets are not lining up, it's because you have not got the power hub seated correctly on this bracket. Um, sometimes one of the sides, you'll have it uh, over one of the directions too far, it'll be sitting on this little lip over here. So again, just take your time, um, get it in there. You can kind of like wiggle it around a little bit and you'll know it'll just kind of clunk down and your holes should line up for your upper and your lower um, brackets here. Okay, so we're gonna grab it, lift it up, kind of tilt it out a little bit. And I can see I'm too low there. Might have gotten one side on. There, you see it just kind of clunk down into place and now I know whatever I do I can shake this thing uh, and I know it's hanging on there. I can also see that my holes are going to line up for my upper bracket and my lower bracket. And our allen key and we'll just go ahead and put these all in to the upper bracket and the lower bracket. Now that I got all four of the upper bracket ones started, I can come down here and look at the lower, and I can see it's not quite lining up. That's why we let everything loose down here. So you should be able to get the adjustment you need um, because this lower bracket is totally loose. So now I kind of got it aligned and I can get down here and put these all in. Now that we got the top and bottom screws in, we can go ahead and tighten them down. And this, this will lock in the power hub so this thing can't jump off in any direction. So that was the hardest part of the install. Once you get this thing hanging here, um, I, I always like to go through and tighten up all the bolts. Some of them are a little hard to get to now, um, but you can use different types of tools um, ratchet extensions and stuff like that to go ahead and tighten these down. If you tighten them before, it can make it really tough to get that lower uh, and upper bracket on there. So go ahead and tighten everything down now uh, and we'll skip to the next step and we'll get the distribution panel in. So now that we got everything tight, we got our distribution panel. Um, this guy, it doesn't really matter how you set it in here. Uh, it's super easy. You just slide her in and then we already have tapped holes for you here so you just take the provided screws line them up and just screw this guy down with that that's the ecoflow bracket kit install um, it can be a little tricky but just have some patience um, it'll go in and everything will look super clean. Um, that's kind of why we developed this thing that everything just has its home and looks really clean. The EcoFlow, they provide a ton of the cables for your batteries and your solar and all that kind of stuff. All those cables are super, super long. What's nice about the Nomad bed, there's a lot of pre-drilled holes in this thing. You can also drill holes anywhere you want in the shelf but I take all that bundle and all that mess of wires and I bring it up through the bottom. So everything is hid on the bottom and then I zip tie them to the bottom of the shelf. So when you look in here, everything's super clean. You just have the cables coming up through, but all the excess, I like to zip tie to the bottom. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. As always, if you have any questions, hit up our customer support team. We'd love to chat with you guys. And um, thank you so much for purchasing our products. We really appreciate it. We'll see you on the next video. Peace.